Sabahu everyone, Sabahu ya habibis and welcome back to my show. I am Elisa Freja. This week we celebrate a very important This week we celebrate a very important day for a feminist. Today is like Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Halloween. Easter, it's everything rolled into one. Today is International Women's Day. So a happy Women's Day to you lads and ladies out there. May you celebrate yourselves, may you celebrate each other and celebrate all the women that came before us. That made it possible for us to be here today. Thank you, thank you mom. Thank you all the moms. Thank you all the women that fight for all the things. You guys are awesome and uh, yeah. Without you, I wouldn't have a career, and I wouldn't be me. So let's get going with episode two. Woo, woo, woo. Welcome back to my show, everybody. This week, I'm gonna take you up into the heavens, into the beautiful sky on a balloon in a basket. Let me walk you through what happened. All right, let me set the scene for you. It's cold. We wake up super, super early. I mean like 4 a.m. But there's a little adventure plan today. We get onto a little boat, it's still dark. I don't really think I know what I'm in for, so. And it's dead silent and the stars are out and the wind is blowing. And it's like, just gonna get off the boat. And then we get into a bus. Luxor, let's see what you got for me. And then we end up in a giant sugar cane field lots of these giant basket and a giant balloon that's waiting to be filled with this air and it was really freaking cool and it was super beautiful and then we had to climb into the thing and then the basket went up as i'm floating in the air in a basket in a little balloon <laughs> terrified and i'm stunned at the beauty of the land around us and i see all the other hot air balloons rising one of them had the bust, the face of Nefertiti. And it was a moment that hit me because all of a sudden, each one of these balloons wasn't just a balloon. Each one of these balloons represented one of the countless ancient Egyptian role models, the goddess Nut, or a Cleopatra, or a Nefertiti, or a Nefertari, or a Mernaith, or a Sobek Neferu, or one of the great Egyptian women or goddesses or queens or pharaohs that came before us and they're rising and i'm rising and we are all rising and i hear maya angelou's voice in my mind saying that still we rise above it all wow that's what i saw in the moment and that was the moment i wanted to share on international women's day because we stood on the shoulders of these giants we are here today because of decisions that these people made 5,000 years ago. They set the scene for us. They paved the way for us. And now we are able to rise with this optimism and this hope because of the legacy that they've left. And in this country, you get to really see that legacy spelled out for you clearly. As the sun is like, rising and everything is illuminating and glowing and just beautiful i see that we are actually above the valley of the kings which is one of the most famous burial sites in all of ancient egyptian history and then i'm told that right next to the valley of the kings is the valley of the queens what did you know there was a valley of the queens what Valley Queen? Which Queen? Do you know there's a Valley of the Queens? Did you know there was a Valley of the Queens? <laughs> and go figure, nobody talks about them. How was I not told about this? This is my, this is right up my alley. What do you mean? Who are these Queens? Why do they have a Valley? Are they Valley girls? Like, 
Could you then call the queens in the valley like they're a valley girl? You know what I mean? We're all the queens buried in the valley of the queens and all the kings buried in the valley of the kings. And if that was the case, then why the heck is the most prominent structure in all of the Valley of the Kings right now, Hatshepsut's temple. That's right, it was a queen in the Valley of the Kings who has the sickest crib. And I think that that is pretty cool, guys. There was a queen in the Valley of the Kings. There's a queen who queened so hard that she kinged and her name is Hatshepsut. I really wanted to start this special trip by visiting her temple because to me, she was, well, one of the earliest examples that I heard of, of a female leader. She kind of proved herself to be an excellent ruler and seven years in, she was made into a full king. She also had a very peaceful reign. She valued trade and development over war. She built a whole bunch of stuff in her time. And Hatshepsut did that. You know, the economy of Egypt during the time of the woman was the best. Of course. Of course. Oh, Hatshepsut. Yeah. And, and all of the things that she built, her own presentation, like when you would see images of her depicted or statues and sculptures, she tended to have a very masculine portrayal because she wanted people to see her as a king. She was, yes, a woman, but she wanted to be seen as a pharaoh. And so this very interesting like mix of identity came in. There was a part male energy and part male regalia on her. And then there was a beautiful feminine maybe body or a feminine face. All that to say is she's my favorite. She was a boss and she did something insane back then. There's this beautiful lesson to be learned from Hatshepsut. She did such a good job that she broke herself into these typically male dominated spaces, a place literally named the Valley of the Kings. What we look at so often is women have been trying to put themselves into this world, this male dominated world. And we have to infiltrate the man's world in order to change it. I feel like this is a fight that Hatshepsut was doing thousands of years ago that we are still doing today. So on this International Women's Day, I wanna ask you, do you think that we need to impose ourselves in the Valley of the Kings and make space for us, make them include us? Or do you think we can go create our own Valley of the Queens, make that an inclusive and open space for all and feel like if that becomes successful, we can integrate into the Valley of the Kings? Let me know where you wanna be buried. Do you wanna be buried in the Valley of the Queens or do you wanna be buried in the Valley of the Kings? That, it's a bit of a sad question on Women's Day to ask that question, but that was the question that came out today. So I feel like you guys are just gonna have to ask yourselves a hard question and uh, be nice to the ladies in your life today. That's all I ask for. So for these women and for you women and for all women and for women, Wamina, Wamana, Wamina, I would like to wish you a happy International Women's Day. And uh, that's it for my show. Comic, like, subscribe, you know the deal. That's why it's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. When you um, pick up a chick, do you really go for uh, looks or personality? <laughs> Was that bad? Is that not even worth a response?